Hello, my name is Nylily8 and welcome back to another video inside my long-term survival world. In the last episode, if you haven't already seen it, what are you doing? Go watch it. I started planning my bridge, which as you can see, is going to be very large. So I'm going to need a lot of blocks to build this thing. So I did a little bit of math and I figured out that I need over 64,000 blocks just for the pillars. That doesn't count the, the road of the bridge or any of the decorations I'm gonna put on the bridge. That's just the pillar. So I'm gonna need a lot of blocks. In order to hold that many blocks, I am going to need about 38 shulker boxes. And I have a lot of shulker boxes, but I'm not sure if I have quite 38 of them. So let's go see how many shulker boxes I have. I have four right here. I could empty these out just in case I need them. There's 19 right here. I know I have a few shulker boxes over here. Yes. I think there might be a shulker box that I can use down here. Yes. I'm going to grab the shulker boxes I have over here and then empty all of the ones that have stuff in them. Where did he come from? <laughs> Alright, let's start emptying out these shulker boxes.
All right, so I have finished emptying most of these shulker boxes, but these ones have items in them that don't go in this storage room. So I'm going to take these and put these items where they belong. Alright, so this is 26 shulker boxes right here. Alright, so in this barrel right here, I have 27 shelter boxes. I have 9 different blocks that I'm going to be building my pillars out of, and I need 112 stacks of each item, which means I will be needing about 4 shelter boxes for each item. So, I need 9 more shelter boxes. So, it looks like I'll be going to the end and getting some more shelter boxes. There he is. They always hide in the stairwells. He'll never move one of my blocks ever again. <laughs> anyway. I have all of these shulker boxes plus this shulker box but I'm not gonna count those as shulker boxes that I have because those are kinda like my extra ones Oop. didn't mean to pick that up and I heard another enderman Get out of here. There are a couple things I need to do before I go raid and cities for shulker boxes. I need to make sure I have enough firework rockets to get around, and I also need to make sure my elytra stays healed. So I'm going to check my rocket box here and see how many rockets I have. I have a couple stacks of flight duration 3 rockets, which actually might be helpful in the end. And I also have about 5 stacks of regular rockets. So I'm going to fill this with a few more regular rockets, just in case. And I think this will be good. I even have bottle of enchanting, just in case my elytra gets low. Here's my sugarcane farm. It's not a very big sugarcane farm. I just have this up here and this down here. And they both empty out into two separate chests. But it gives me a pretty decent amount of sugarcane. My bow looks a little low on durability. I hope it doesn't break while I'm gone. I will be shooting a lot of shoulders with it. I think it should be okay though. I'm also going to check and see how many totems of undying I have in here. Oh yeah, I have plenty. Thanks to my raid farm. Also, I completely forgot. 1.19.4 has a lot of changes to potion colors. So some of these potions look different. Night vision is green now. Whoa. That looks really cool. 
It's green. <laughs> I'm trying to look really closely at the Instant Health and Instant Health 2. Do those have different colors? If they do have different colors, it's really hard to tell. I think they're the same. Alright, now that I have plenty of rockets, I need to go heal my elytra. To do that, I'm going to go to my guardian farm. Which actually, you guys have not seen yet. If you didn't already know, this is my long-term survival world. Which I created when 1.18 came out. Which was a little over a year ago. So, I have a lot of stuff completed in this world. This is my guardian farm. I made this last summer, and it has been my main source of experience since. I love it. It works really well. You can see some guardians spawning right there. And then they go down into there and fall into a pit, and then I kill them. Hello. You look kind of funny. <laughs> He's like dancing. What is he doing? What is going on? <laughs> I can't kill him. He looks so cute. Okay, that's enough. Ow. I smacked my face into the wall. I also have two enchantment setups over here. I, I was just going to have one, but it wasn't symmetrical. It looks better with two, doesn't it? My elytra's already healed. Nice. There's a lot of empty space over here, I'm not sure what to do with. I was thinking about maybe a slime farm, because there are a couple slime chunks over here. Um, I keep the slime in this chest, but honestly, I'm gathering enough slime just from them spawning while I'm in the area and then killing them. So I don't think I need a slime farm. that piece of steak just reminded me I should probably make sure I have enough food. Yeah, I have enough food. After I run out of this steak, I can grab a stack of chicken. And I also have all this stuff. Alright, I think I'm ready to go to the end. black hole. Apparently I didn't finish putting black wall all the way down here. <laughs> wow, I haven't been back here in a while. I have killed the dragon twice, as you can see by that portal, and I think the other one is over here. No? Where is the other one? There it is. <laughs> There's a portal there, and there. It's literally right next to it. I think that is the one 
that spawned first, and that is the one that spawned second. I've explored more in that one, so I think I'm going to go in here. I'm going to try and fly through there. I'm definitely not going to make it. That was kind of scary. <laughs> I've never flown through one of those before. Okay, I need some way to mark which direction I'm going to travel. I'm facing west right now. I think we're going to go west. There's an end city right there. I might have already been to this one before, though. I think I have. Maybe I shouldn't go west. I think I've been west before. There are still stalkers here, though, and that's what I'm here for. I'm not really here for any other loot. Where's the... entrance? Oh, it's right here. I'm gonna put my totem in my hot edge, just in case. Or should I put my shield in my offhand? I'm gonna put my shield in my offhand, and if I feel like I'm gonna die, I can just switch those. This isn't hardcore, so it doesn't really matter if I die, but it would be kind of inconvenient. <laughs> I want to avoid that. I hear all the shulkers, but where are they? Oh, I tried to get on that ladder, but I totally missed. Not very good at parkour. Yeah, I've definitely been here. <laughs> but there's still shulkers here. So it's okay. I always forget about that one. Where are these shulkers that I'm hearing? I cannot find them. Where are you? It's really annoying that I can hear them going bleh, bleh, but where are they? <laughs> it sounds like there's so many of them. Okay. There's one. Dropped a shell down there. Ah, oh, dang. There we go. I have one full chakra box now. I get hit. Okay, maybe I should get hit and then I can hit it with my looting sword. As long as I stay underneath this edge here. He didn't drop anything. Okay, since I've clearly already been west before, I'm gonna go back to where that portal took me, and then I'm going to go a different direction. Should we go north or south? I think I'm going to go south. Aw, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to look at him. Hopefully that doesn't cause me problems later. been over here too.
Maybe if I just keep going this way, I'll still run into something I haven't found yet. No, I've been over here. Dang it! What direction have I not gone in? I don't want to kill another dragon. Not right now. So I guess I'm going to go north? I'm going to take out these flight duration 3 rockets. I kind of just need like one good end city. Okay, there's the portal thing. Now we're gonna go north. Hopefully I have not been this way. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that just weird terrain generation or is that a pillar that I made? I think that's just weird terrain generation right there. The end is so boring. I wish there was more to look at while I was doing this. Like, it's just endstone and these purple squiggly things and endermen and just nothingness <laughs> and apparently not even any end cities. I've been flying for a while now. Yes! An end city! Finally! Let's get these shulker shells. Oh man, I did not want to go up here. It's so hard to prevent yourself from getting hit by these. No! I don't want to be floating! No! I want to grab those shulker shells. Oh man. I've angered an enderman. I'm flying. The enderman is flying too! <laughs> I don't think the enderman's mad at me. Oh my gosh. Oh, please, no. I have two shulker boxes so far. Oh my goodness. One of these just hit me already? Okay. many little projectiles. I don't know what they're called. We'll grab that gold. I don't need any of those though. More gold. Wow, that's a good sword, but I do not need it, so I'm leaving it there. I don't think any shulker shells dropped, unfortunately.
I did not mean to fall. Oh my gosh! I did not mean to hit so many walls. Honestly, the shield is not helping me. I'm not putting it up in time before I get hit by the projectile, so I'd rather have the totem. I did not mean to do that. I meant to grab the blocks. There's a shelter somewhere. Flight duration three rockets, that's why I'm having such a hard time. <laughs> Oops. Let's do that so that I have more control. I think there are a few shulker shells for me to collect down here. I saw some drop, I just don't know where they drop. I know I saw at least one shell drop to the ground. But I have no idea where. <gasps> there it is. Now I have enough for four boxes, so I need five more boxes. Ten more shells. I don't think I'm getting 10 more shells from this city, so I need to keep going north. Okay, now we gotta go find another end city. Or pull out the flight duration 3 firework rockets again. Wow! There's another city really close. That's really convenient. I'll take that. I shot myself in the face. Seven diamonds? Wow! In one chest. I'm gonna take this ender chest. I need like five more shelves. I just need two more shells now, and then I can go home.
I need one more shell. There it is. I might be able to get a few more shells out of this though. I'm already here. Dang it. I was just about to fall down. Stupid thing. There. There's a whole extra shulker box right there. Cool. Ha ha ha! I got a shell from it. Eleven shulker boxes, which is two more than I came here for, so I'm gonna head home. I also have seven diamonds and nine gold ingots. Alright, let's go. There's the other end city I raided. Not far before I found that city, there was a gateway. I just need to find that and then I can go home. There's the portal. Let's see if I can fly into it like I did the other one. Boo! <laughs> That's so fun. Alright, let's put this stuff I got away. I only have one chest in here. <laughs> That's better. keep my extra shulker shells and also the other ender chest I got in there. And then I'm going to craft nine more boxes. Nice. I'm going to dye one of these red so that I have four, one pink, so on, so on, so on, so that I have four of each of these colors. And then I'm going to fill one with cobbled deep slate, one with tough, so on and so on until I have all the blocks. Alright, I am going to go to sleep here in Minecraft, and then I'm going to go to sleep in real life because it is approaching midnight, and then tomorrow morning we'll collect some blocks. I'm pretty sure this is how you make lime die. Yes. I was correct. Now I can die in all of these shulker boxes. Perfect. I guess I'm gonna put these in here because they don't fit in the barrel. Now we have 36 dyed shulk boxes. Okay, the blocks I'm going to be needing to gather are cobbled deep slate, smooth basalt, tough, packed mud, andesite, dead tube coral block, mushroom stem, diorite, and calcite. The first block I'm going to gather is cobbled deep slate. I might already have a lot of this in my storage, but I don't know if I have quite enough. Cobble deep slate right here.
perfect. I've filled all four shulker boxes completely with cobbled deep slate. Alright, over here at the mountain range I am building the bridge at, I'm going to put some chests to put all these shulker boxes in for now until I start using the blocks. Next I need to collect smooth salt, which is going in pink shulker boxes. I think I have a little bit of smooth basalt in storage, but definitely not enough to fill four shelter boxes. There it is. I have enough to fill one shelter box. Alright, I need to go hunting for more smooth basalt. Enough to fill three shelter boxes. Can you craft smooth basalt? Out of basalt. I have a shoulder box worth of basalt. Okay, apparently you put basalt in a furnace and it makes it into smooth basalt. So I am going to make all of this into smooth basalt and that way I only have to gather two more shoulder boxes of basalt. This is my smelter. It is placed in this very weird position because I spawned up here, which means this furnace is in the spawn chunks. Anywhere I go in the world, this will still be smelting. i make sure I have lava in here. I have a little bit, so I need to put more in there. These are my parents. I never gave them names, but they live up here in this little house. They have a great view of everything. I'm going to take these buckets and go get more lava. But I also, I need to return these buckets down here anyway. This is the first ever experience farm I made in this world. It's a zombie spawner I found. The zombies spawn, the water pushes them towards you, and then you kill them. Super simple. And this is my lava farm. There is naturally generated lava up here. Let me see if I can show you. There it is. I put dripstone underneath it and it drips into these cauldrons and slowly fills them up. And you can harvest the lava. inventory. There. Now 
that will smelt away. Now I guess we go to the nether, to the basalt delta biome, and collect basalt. I forgot what it was called for a moment, even though it's right there on my screen. <laughs> Before we go to the nether, I am going to grab a few fire resistance potions. Just while we're here, this is my starter house. This is my bedroom. We didn't actually go through there, but through this painting is a bed. And then I have a little library. Lecterns and um barrels to hold books because chills of bookshelves are not added to the game yet. The elevator that goes up to the hoop dive is that way, but my potion brewer room is right here. And then I have nether wart in here. And I had more frog lights in the ceiling, but I needed them for my castle. <laughs> By the way, I think this is super funny. That is hilarious to me. <laughs> Let's go to the nether. This is a naturally generated little cave that I decorated. I think it looks really cool. Got some diamonds. Regular stone ore diamonds. Here we are. Oh no. I forgot to bring gold armor. I should grab gold armor so that those guys aren't bugging me. Also in 1.19.4 I can do this now. Truly amazing. I think I have a beacon I can set up. It'll make this a lot faster. I do. Awesome. There's another guest. I don't know where. I got two gas tears out of that. There's a piglin brute right there. If I kill that guy, I think I get an advancement. Hold on. Yes. I think that's the last thing I have to kill. <laughs> Monsters hunted. Cool. There's actually already a hole right there. I think this is where the beacon was placed before.
Perfect. Shoot. I'm gonna start up here and just start shaving down this terrain. I don't like this biome. I don't really want it here. So might as well slowly get rid of it. Alright, I am going to stay here and mine basalt until these shulker boxes are full, and then I'll get back to you. Alright, so these two shulker boxes are full of basalt. This one already has the smooth basalt in it. And I just have about three more stacks to go. I have had to go back to the overworld once to heal my pickaxe, and now it's like almost dead again. <laughs> oh, lava. I'm just going to get rid of the rest of this little island. Alright, we have enough basalt now. I'm still going to finish digging up the rest of this little bit though. It's just two little layers. Alright, I'm out of here. Run! go up here and check on our smooth basalt. I don't think it smelts while I'm in the nether. So it's still smelting. Go to bed real quick. Alright, once that is done smelting, we can tick smooth basalt off our list. Alright, now we need to get tough, which is going to go in orange shulker boxes. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of tough. I don't think I'll have any problems filling four shulker boxes with it. There it is. Yeah. I have plenty of tough.
right, that is all four shulker boxes filled with tough. That is all the time I have for today's video though. In between this video and the next, I will sit over here AFK and make sure that smooth basalt finished smelting. I still have packed mud, andesite, dead tube coral block, mushroom stem, diorite, and calcite to gather. And I will do that in the next episode. That'll be kind of like a part two to gathering over 64,000 blocks. Hello, Mr. Cow. He wants to be in the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!